happened along on patrol, or come morning, your carcasses would have been sprouting a few Mexican bayonets. Sylvester! Bostic! We'll hoist the end of this wagon, you try to shove that wheel on. Now, never mind, you old boy. This is man's work. Come on, all together now. One, two, hee! Hee! Sergeant Tate! It's some of Santa Ana's boys. Sam, Houston don't want no shooting yet. We'll use our Bowie knives. I don't have no knife, Sergeant. Here. I'll take it. You've been itching for a scrap, now's your chance. All right, you take the last one. Run my signal. Valley Days. Howdy, folks. I'm the old ranger. The Battle of the Alamo was a bloody page in American history. Remember the Alamo became a slogan that will perhaps live on forever. But before the smoke had really cleared above the mission, a group of stout-hearted men had banded together to avenge its heroes. One 15-year-old boy had come to join their fight because he was... Davy's friend. fool kid he lost me my horse just like i told you he's too young we shouldn't have brought him along ah shut up what do you want me to do hang him up to age like a side of beef he could have killed you boy i couldn't do it sergeant maybe my fists even a gun but not no big knife well, i'm sorry but you're gonna have to go back What's your name, boy? Joel Robison. Farm boy? Yes, sir. From the hills of Tennessee, where he ought to have stayed. John, maybe he'd like to come with us. We could use an extra man. Yes. Oh, 
Couldn't he, Pa? Me and my wife and my daughter Natalie here are heading for Austin. You're welcome to come along with us if you remind her. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sarge. Sylvester here's got no horse, thanks to Sonny Boy. But there's a mighty fine looking one. Yes, sir, he's a dandy. You know, in the name of Sam Houston, we sure ought to confiscate him, Sarge. I'll shoot the first man who lays a hand on that horse. That's a fine thank you for our fixing his wheel for him. Ain't it, Sarge? What do you hold against Sam Houston, plowman? I've already given a farm, my house, and a son. That's enough. Leave his horse be. Come on, boy. Take my horse. <laughs> yours? <laughs> well, that old nag of yours couldn't go two miles before it dropped dead in his own tracks. You keep your horse, Joel. You're gonna need him. You better take care of those bodies back there before some more of Santa Ana's boys come along. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Well, I'm sorry, too. Sorry it didn't work out. I got a lot of respect for a boy like you. But the way things are, with Sam Houston fixing to make a surprise attack on Santa Ana's camp, I just can't afford no more mistakes. Sergeant, give him something plenty for the Alamo. Thank you. camp here till sundown when it'll be cooler for traveling. It's easier on the horses. It's a long way to Austin. Hey, you don't have to feel ashamed because you're a farmer instead of a soldier. A lot of Sam Houston's fighters was farmers just a fortnight ago. Sometimes a man's gotta be both. Meaning my pa. And me. Paul wasn't always a bitter man. He didn't get that way till after the Alamo. That's where my brother Jimmy was killed. There wasn't even enough left to identify of him. The only thing they found was that horse. Jimmy was only 16 when Paul gave it to him. He was 19 when he was killed. Paul thought that Jimmy was a thoroughbred. And he said that he should have a horse that was a thoroughbred, too. I didn't know. I understand now. Because I lost me somebody at the Alamo, too. Good friend. He's the finest man I ever met. I met him back in Rutherford County, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. One day last summer, I got caught in a bear trap by the seat of my britches. <laughs> Old Jezebel. Best old coon dog in the whole state of Tennessee, Jezebel was. Old Jess, she just plumb lit out and left me. And along come this man. He stood a head taller than any man I ever seen. His, his shoulders, they was a mile wide. His face lit up when he seen me, and he grinned from ear to ear, saying his... Oh, I didn't look like no bear, but I sure did look funny stuck there like one. Well, he sprung me out of that trap, and he took a look at my rifle gun, started laughing all over again. Why? It was an old, old rifle gun of my grandpaps. 
And this here man quit his laughing. He said I was just liable to blow myself clean into the next county with that worn out old blunderbuss. I only knew him for a few days. But he taught me more about life, about feeling. Made me feel important. Like there was a place in this world for, for even an old farm boy like me. And then, just before he left, he gave me this. He cut the writing on it himself. Be sure you're right, then go ahead. Davy Crockett? You really knew him? Davy Crockett was my friend. And Santa Ana's boys killed him. I just gotta get him even. General Houston's having it out. The battle started. I gotta get there. I gotta get in that fighting for Mr. Crockett. Crazy. Yeah, come here. Come on. You young folks are all the same. It's like talking to the broad side of a barn, that's what it is. Mr. McAllister, I, I'm sorry, sir, but, but you can't tell me what to do. You ain't my pa. And even if you was, I wouldn't listen. I come all the way from Tennessee to avenge me a friend's death. And I mean to do it. You'll only get yourself killed, boy. Maybe I will. But when a man's got to do something, he's just got to do it, no matter what. Mr. McAllister, I don't want to fight you, sir. Give me back my saddle. said that a thoroughbred beats a thoroughbred horse. Now I got two reasons for going back. Mr. Crockett and Jimmy. Joan, I have something for you, too. Keep this with you wherever you go. It's the Medal of St. Christopher. That's the patron saint that watches over all who travel. It will protect you and bring you back safely. Maybe even one day to Austin. sir. Well, it's too late. Battle's over with, Joel. Over? With the cannon? I heard all that shooting just a while ago. 
Sam Houston ordered us to attack Santa Ana's boys while they was enjoying their siesta. It only lasted for a few minutes, but you never saw nothing like it. I'd say there was over 600 of them got killed. And that many again took prisoner. Ah, General Houston, he got himself wounded some in the leg. Oh, he's gonna be all right, though. And that General Santa Ana, that great Napoleon of the West, he lit out of there on his black charger like a hot Texas wind. <laughs> hey, they still out looking for him. If you ask me, I'd say he's clear to South America by now. It's all over. I'm too late. There ain't much doing now except to round up some of Santa Ana's strays. I tell you what, boy. I'll let you help us pick up a few prisoners. Sure, Sergeant. Well, all right then. Let's move on out. short. We better split up in four ways. Now, you be careful, boy. Some of Santa Ana's men might still have their weapons. You watch your step, and you report back here before sundown. Yes, sir. Someone hiding in there? Someone's in there, you better come out before I blast you out. You hear me? Come on out of there. Try nothing. You a Mexican? You ain't no farmer. Looks to me like you stole them clothes. Who 
wouldn't you look at that fancy belt buckle? Dead gummit if you ain't one of Santa Ana's boys. I'm taking you in as my prisoner. Let's go, boy. He should have been back by now. I told him sundown. Well, maybe you shouldn't let him go off alone like that, Sarge. You know that boy's chicken-hearted. He wouldn't hurt a horse fly. Well, we can't wait no more. Daylight's about to give out. Sergeant Say! I thought I told you sundown. But, Sergeant, I got me a prisoner. Yeah, I can see that. Where'd you catch him? Raiding somebody's hen house? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you was looking for a farmhand, you sure got yourself a Jim Dandy. Go on, get over there in line with the rest of them. He's toting your pack. Let me the Pronto. What kind of Mexican peon soldier wears an expensive ring like that? Here, let me see the palm of your hand. <laughs> Smooth as silk. Hey, Sylvester, I think we got us an officer here. And you know what we do with officers. Yeah. We shoot them. Yo demando que me dirijan al general Houston. Inmediatamente. Yo soy Antonio López de Santa Ana, presidente de México, comandante del ejército mexicano. Holy catfish. Hey, hey, you know who this fella is? Why, well, well, that's Santa Ana himself. Santa Ana? I caught Santa Ana? Why, well, you sure did, boy. And don't call me boy. Well, let's, uh, move on! I'm Joel Robison, reporting as ordered to General Sam Houston. So, you're Joel Robison. How do, General Houston, sir? Oh, at ease, soldier. Come over here while we can talk. Uh, how's your leg, General? Oh, no more than a scratch. I wanted to meet you. You know, you proved yourself quite a man. Sergeant Tate told me all about you. I'm sure Davy Crockett would be proud of you. I know I am. Thank you, General. Now the fighting's over, where'll you be going? I don't know, sir. Back to Rutherford County, Tennessee, I reckon. Well, good luck, Joel. Good luck to you, General Houston. No, sir. I ain't going back to Tennessee. I'm heading for Austin, Texas. What made you change your mind, Joel? St. Christopher, sir. With the capture of General Santa Ana, the Texas Revolution ended, and Texas independence became an established fact. And Joel Robinson, the 15-year-old farm boy from Rutherford County, Tennessee, had avenged the death of his friend, Davy Crockett.